From the air, the damage looks almost unbelievable. Monday night, straight line winds ripped the roof right off of the elementary school in Plainview, Nebraska, and then tossed it across the street right onto the high school building, flattening several vehicles as well. Good evening, everyone. I'm Matt Breen. And I'm Jessica Bowman. That's what the damage looked like after the storm swept through Plainview at 530 last night. 24 hours later, cleanup continues in that Pierce County town. KTIV's Katie Koppel has been the day in Plainview where the community came out in full force, all in an effort to clean up not just the school, but other damaged areas spread across town. Katie. Yes, Matt and Jessica, the damage was pretty clear as we drove into town. Much of it contained to one part of this community of about 1,400 people. Large trees were broken off. A picnic table in the park was nearly folded in half. A trampoline tossed onto a privacy fence along the side of a neighboring house. Power crews in the town were in the town much of today, fixing power lines and reinstalling power poles that were broken. While all the damage in the town was easy to find, the worst could be found at Plainview Elementary School, where the roof was torn off the east side of the building, thrown across the street onto the gymnasium of the high school. But in the midst of all of this damage, was a showing of community pride, and that's exactly what we saw here today in Plainview. So right about 5:30, we had you know severe, uh, looked like a hurricane to me in Nebraska. The community of Plainview, Nebraska, is spending its Tuesday cleaning up after a storm that moved through Monday evening. While there is damage seen throughout town, the worst can be found at Plainview Elementary School. Realized that this was the elementary roof in one piece that had blown off. The winds ripped an 80 by 40 section of roof off of the elementary school. A wrap around and slap up and over, and there were at least, you know, a four, in, four inch securing screws holding that roof on, and so they slapped into and damaged uh, that roof. Several cars parked along the building were damaged, one even crushed. Superintendent Dr. Darren Arlt says as soon as the storm passed, heavy equipment was brought in to take the roof off of the side of the high school. Uh, so it could uh, peel it off the school and put it in the street uh, overnight. Tuesday morning, dozens of students, parents and community members came to the school to assess the damage and help clean up. It was kind of nice to see everybody come out and help pick everything up. I mean, it kind of probably took a lot of the like what the heck just happened you know you're around friends people that you know i mean just help him clean up i mean arlt a plainview graduate himself says seeing the community come together shows just how special small town nebraska can be well uh, uh this was my school i attended this school in the 70s and 80s uh care about this place as much as you can imagine and i care about the people that care about this place and so this was my best day as superintendent. I would rather do this with our students and our families than uh, sit in my office and create a budget for the next fiscal year, I can tell you that. Obviously a few years back we had the flood and I got to help with that. I was freshman in high school I believe so I mean it was it wasn't much of a surprise because when that happened, you know, that was a big surprise to all the people that came out to help and we even went to neighboring towns and helped out. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's great to see the community still alive and willing to help everyone. So. As you could see in the drone video, there is still a roof on this elementary school. I'm going to step out of the way so my photographer Joe can show you a closer look. Now, Dr. David Arlt said, or Darren Arlt says that the original roof that was underneath the one that blew off is still intact and because of that original roof the damage inside the school is minimal with just minor water damage inside. Now there is damage to the high school that is minor as well and the superintendent says that is mostly cosmetic in nature from the roof hitting the side of the building. And Dr. Alt tells me that they plan on starting school on time on August 15th with a possibly modified elementary school schedule and classroom schedule until they can get that roof fixed and the teachers back in their classrooms. Reporting live in Plainview, Nebraska, I'm Katie Koppel. Matt and Jessica, back to you. Katie